Hi guys, hi guys, Rich Bassini from RGBC.com coming to you today to do a video on a brief little uh so this is really gonna be a brief video. Um it's the external battery for the 4 and 4S. Okay. I took the contents I just wanted to show you, but um this here it just gives you a little info on the back here. It's got um well, it tells you the specifications, capacity, uh, let's see, output, vo output voltage, five, five volts. Um, standby time, it tells you up to 230 hours, talk time up to six hours, internet usage up to 5.5 hours on the 3G, plus up to eight hours on a Wi-Fi, audio playback up to 30 hours, video playback up to eight hours. And again, this is the external battery for the four uh, iPhone 4 or 4S. Um, what you get in the package is you're getting this uh, very basic stuff. You get the package, of course. You get a little basic user manual. You get a USB cord to connect to your uh, computer to charge it up. That's what I did. I charged it up with the computer. So um, that's what we got going on here. And uh, so you're getting that and you're getting the unit itself. Okay. I thought I could use, I have the iPhone 5, I thought this would uh, work with me, but apparently not. Well, I mean, you never know. I, I'm not, this is the first iPhone I picked up, so I don't really know too much about the iPhone. So when I seen it, I said, oh, this would be great, it would be great, good for me. And then I looked at my Connect, I said, no, not quite. Anyway, uh, that's what you got going on here. Uh, you do plug it in. They're telling you now, when you charge, let's get a little overview here. Uh, they're telling you when you charge this unit up, Okay, I'm going to read it off in the instructions so you can see here. Okay. It says over here, uh, use as a supplement battery, a supplemental battery. And it tells you, leave the on-off switch on during and after charging, during the iPhone use, for iPhone use. And then it goes on telling you uh, about the four LED light indication. Um, uh, one LED light, slight shine, has a power for up to 25%. The second LED light, uh, sight, uh, I call it slight shine. Okay, slight shine. Okay, up to 50%. The third one is for a 75, you know, power up to 75%, and the fourth one is power to 100%. Then it talks about syncing when you're using the uh, battery case. <clears throat> when you're using a battery case with your iPhone 4, you can now sync up your iPhone 4 to iTunes without removing the battery case. Okay. And then it goes on. It's in this little instruction book in here, folks. Okay, the user manual. Okay. And that's the, that's what you're getting with it. That's what comes with it. Um, when you power it on, even in your up position, you can still get the lights, but I'm leaving it off for the time being. But when you hit the button over here, there's a little black button here. You see all four lights come on. Well, let me see here. Well, now, once I, I think, I don't know if I had it on right. Let me see here. Well, before it had the four on there, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Now, this is a pre-owned battery charger or uh, external battery. So, um, I had it on there. I don't know if I had it fully charged or not. It was on four before. So, I don't know. Uh, this is pre-owned, okay? So, I don't know um, in regards to how long. I know what the instructions telling you that it could do so many hours of this, so many hours of that. But, um... I didn't leave it overcharged overnight, but I had it charged on a computer. And what you would do is you would put the cable in here like this here. Um, let's see, like this here. Let's make sure I'm doing it right. And you plug it into your computer's USB port, which I'm going to do over here. And then when you do it, now it's showing you, okay, it's showing you it's all four or is it here. It's showing you all four are on. See it there? Let me see here. The light glares. There's so much glare in here. Uh, there's all four lights on here. Uh, I'll try to get where you can see it, so you can see it's all four lights. And they're telling you uh, when you do charge it, according to right there, unless I misunderstood it, leave uh, leave it on the on position. This the on or switch, leave it on the on position during and after charging. Now, unless I read it wrong, but as you can see, it is charged. Uh, you got the four lights. Uh, I don't. I think when you, well, that's because it's connected to the computer. But when you take it out, it might go to three. See, that's because it didn't fully charge it. I guess. Um, if you do get this, folks. And you do charge up, you let it charge overnight. I don't know. Now, you don't want to over, overwork the battery, overcharge it, because they could be, I think that might damage the battery. I don't know. Now, here's the other thing I just want to explain with this here. Being it is pre-owned, I don't know how much usage is on it. Okay? So, my thing is, if you are the lucky buyer of this item, 
okay, and you buy it, follow the instructions, watch your usage on it, you know, because if you get it and you hook your iPhone up to it and say, hey, I only got so much usage out of it, I don't know, like, I understand, like, what my, I got an iPhone 5S, but... I know with these uh, these these smartphones, they do use a lot of juice. And I heard the more applications you open up, I think it'll drain the battery that much quicker. Now, I'm not an expert on it, but I thought I read something like that. And I also heard it from a guy, tech guy. The more applications you have running in the background, it could put a drawer on a battery. And, and plus, if you use videos, if you're doing video streaming, if you're playing games, that could probably cause it too. So if you get this item and you know you start seeing the battery deplete right away keep in mind what you're running on that phone okay again it's pre-owned so people may say well it's a pre-owned unit so the battery could be might not have, be 100 percent it could be weak i don't know i don't i can't hook this up to mine see that connector there i don't have that connector okay and i, I can show you if you're not familiar with it if you don't have the one i have my iphone 5 here 5s and look at the bottom now that's where my that's where you would plug in the uh, juice to charge at the phone and look at the look at the connector in there see oh, where am I at? so I'm saying folks so that this this can this would not fit if it would I'll be honest with you I would keep this for myself you know you pop the phone in there like that I guess I'm not, I don't know the iPhone if it's how it is if it's smaller I don't I didn't know I'm not really exactly sure how this thing works 100% but I noticed one thing this if I'm not mistaken I think this pops up see that comes up like that See, that pops off. Okay. So, just keep that in mind, folks. So, if you do get it, if you do buy it, it's got a rubbery feel to it, like in the back. If you do get it, folks, please. And if you're using it and you're saying, hey, I bought that battery, external battery off you, and uh, it's not working right, it's not holding a charge, it, it might not be the battery itself. It could be all the, all the applications or things you're running on your phone. You know, your phone could also be bad, too. Maybe there might be something going on with the phone. Maybe the battery in your phone's not holding up. I don't know. There could be a number of reasons. But, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to have it where you guys get it, you try it out for a week, two weeks, and say, yeah, I got that thing and it's not working. Just remember to keep that in mind, okay? But anyway, uh, that's what we got going on. It's the uh, external battery for the, uh, again, for the uh, iPhone 4 and 4S. Um, I'm not really sure the company here. I'm not really sure what the company is uh, made by because people usually ask what it's from. It just says R O H. Um, I don't know if that's the company name, but anyway, you'll see it on there. You know, it, it'll be on the description there. Um, it just and it also says Ultra Slim. That's what's inside the phone here. I don't know if you can see that there. It says Ultra Slim. Okay. So, uh, and that's basically all I can tell you, folks. Uh, I guess this is, I think, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know they make something like this here. Uh, my daughters had the ones for their phones, their iPhones, and uh, I find kind of annoying to me anyway. They have the cube ones, like, you know, like, like little cubes and you charge them up in the external batteries, but I guess you got to plug it in there. This one here, um, I, I don't know exactly how it works, but if, if you have the external battery like this here and you just plug this, I like the idea of carrying this around. If your phone, which I believe your phone does dock in here, no doubt. Right, uh, I would like to have this rather than having the external one. You know, like the little cube that you got to carry and plug around with you. This makes sense, you know. It's already charged. This is a this is a good thing, um, and that's basically it. I don't know why this pops off. I don't know, you know, if you could extend it, whatever. I don't really know. Does it? I don't think so. Okay, but uh, like I said, if I take this out, it goes down to three, or now it's up to four. Okay. Well, it, yeah, powers off as normal. We see now it's on four. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it in the off position, and I'm not going to keep playing around overcharging because I don't want to overcharge it. I, I thought I heard too. I could be wrong. Uh, I thought the woman was somebody was saying that if you overcharge your batteries, you could weaken them up a little. We, you know, weaken them up too. So I don't know. I'm not taking that chance. I'm leaving it on the off position because it's got an on off. Oh, right here. I'm sorry. It's got the on and off here. See. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and that's where the USB connects. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it on the uh, off position, okay? So when I send it out to you, but this is what you're going to be getting with it, folks. You get the USB cable, the unit itself, you get the user manual, and it does come in its original case, okay? And remember, folks, even though it's in its case, it is pre-owned. It's an open box, so it is, it's is—it's been a pre-owned. Once to, to me, I think I've said it many times in my videos, once an item is opened and removed from a box, 
To me, I don't consider it no longer brand new. I consider it to be used, pre-owned. Okay, that's me. People might disagree with me and say, how could you say that there? If you just opened this up just now, ripped the label off it and took it out and put it back in here, I could say it's brand new. No, it, it's still considered, technically it's still considered brand new, but it's an open box now. So to me, it, it's kind of like a, a little gray area there. To me, once you take something out, to me, it's not considered new. So uh, that's how I look at things. I could be wrong, but you know that's my way of thinking. But anyway, that's what you got going on, folks. Again, if you have any questions about this here, uh, you want to send me an email, or if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do. Uh, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if you like what I do with these videos, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if this is the first time landing on my YouTube channel, in this particular case, the uh, eBay listing for this item, uh, I just want to say thank you for stopping by and being patient and hearing me out. Uh, I do these demo videos and intro videos to help the potential eBay buyers out, uh, to give them a little insight as to what they're getting, and to uh, let you know that the item you're getting is not going to be dead. You know, so that's why I do the live testing with these things, and um, you know that's that's basically the whole premise behind this here. So you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Take care and thanks again. Bye now.